Now that you know exactly how your brain and body respond to stress and anxiety, it's time to do something about it. And we'll start with the little things in life, like your to-do list, your notifications, your little worries, etc., that pop up occasionally. In this module, you will learn how to deal with those. Later on, we'll get to the bigger things in life, but let's start with the easy bit. Remember this picture from the previous module? These are all the things that can generate stress for you. And they usually are in these four buckets, family, health, work, and friends. Some of these are the bigger things in life that we address later, but many of those are just everyday things that you're being occupied with and that you need to deal with. Let's look at those little things in life and what can be done about those. We all have things to do, places to go, people to meet, task lists to manage. And most of the time we can deal with all of that just fine. But for chronically stressed individuals, even the smallest of things can really activate your sympathetic nervous system and generate that stress response. In order to manage these smaller things in life, it was the former US President Dwight Eisenhower who invented a matrix that can help you prioritize tasks based upon their urgency and importance. So let me explain. Do you see the four boxes here on the screen? The wet one is the tasks that are urgent and important. And obviously, these are the ones that you need to focus on first. The yellow box, though, they are maybe important, but not urgent. So you don't have to do them now, but you have to do it at some point because they are important. It's better to not do them right away, but to make some time for it and plan it in your agenda. Then on the bottom left, you see the urgent ones that are not so important, that may not be that important to you, but it may be important to someone else. In that case, it's better if you can delegate those tasks to someone else so you don't have to do them anymore yourself. And then all the way at the bottom right, you see the green section, which says drop. These are the tasks on your list that are not urgent and not important. The best thing to do with that is forget about them completely. They will just clutter up your tasks list. They will still ask for your attention, but they are not urgent. They are not important. So just forget about it. And what do you know? There's an app for it. And what do you think it's called? Dwight. Indeed. If you look at the app, you see the same four boxes, just different colors than what, if, what you've seen on the screen earlier, but the same buckets. So it's the urgent and important one. It's the not urgent and important one. It's the not important and urgent one. And finally, the one that is not important and not urgent. Here you can go to the do first category, which is the do now from the previous slide. You can add a task here. You can name it. You can even add subtasks uh, and send in a due date and a reminder. You can even add it to your calendar. Add some attachments, etc. We can do all that. And then also for all of the other four categories of the matrix. I'm not using it myself because I'm pretty good at organizing my own task list. But if you're having struggles managing your own task list, this may come in handy and just make sure you delete all of that stuff from the not important, not urgent box. But what if the things on your mind are not really tasks? Something that you can manage using an Eisenhower matrix. What if they are just worries about your relationship or your job or finances, etc.? What can you do then? Well, journaling is one of the things you can 
investigate. Let's explore that a bit further. <laughs>